Microplastics like asbestos can kill. In fact, that's the title. And you'll recall six months ago, back in August, I, I published a piece and I talked with you on this program about microplastics and how they were finding that an average bottle of bottled water can contain up to 10,000 particles of microplastics. Well, now they have looked at this with a new kind of microscopy, uh, my, new kind of microscope, <laughs> SRS, I think it's called, or SMS or whatever. It's a new, it, you know, it's a more powerful microscope. And they uh, got a bunch of samples, a bunch of bottles of water from Walmart and looked at them. And the number of particles that they were able to see the, now, we're not just talking microplastics, which are so small you can barely see them or you can't see them. We're talking nanoplastics, which are so small that you can't even see them with a, with a normal microscope. You have to use a high-powered microscope. And the danger of nanoplastics is that they're so small they pass through all these barriers in your body and can even get into your brain, that they found that uh, the bottles of water that they got at Walmart had between 170,000 particles of plastic in one bottle uh, to, a, to over 400,000 in other bottles. I, you know, I, I think I told you at the time when Louise and I got back from Antarctica that while we were there, we were on this, uh, on this cruise ship that was actually doing peer-reviewable science in the, in the Antarctic, and uh, in Antarctica, and every single biological sam sample and water sample that they examined had microplastics in it. That was what they were doing on the ship. In fact, I published a photo that I took with my, with my cell phone of a screen. It, it, they had one of these microscopes that has, you know, that projects the image up on a, on a big uh, TV monitor. And I just took a picture of it with my, with my cell phone and that's in the article today. And you can see these little tiny particles of microplastics, threads and little pieces and whatnot. And this is a problem because like asbestos, microplastics can kill mostly by causing cancer. And they do it two ways. The way asbestos causes cancer, which is what killed my father, uh, mesothelioma, the way asbestos, because asbestos is quite neutral, it's, it's inert, it's not biologically active. So how does it cause cancer? Well, it does it mechanically, it does it by constantly irritating tissues. That produces inflammation, inflammation leads to cancer. Microplastics do the same thing, apparently in the gut. Because, you know, there's so much microplastic, particularly in processed food. If you, if you buy, you know, any kind of fast food, any, any kind of processed food, they're rich in microplastics. The, the processing practices contain, uh, you know, plastic pipes and plastic tubes and plastic tubs, and there's just plastic everywhere. And so those plastic particles irritate the lining of the colon and, and open it up to exposure to gastric juices, uh, you know, acids and things, and, and also the, the, the contaminants in our food and produce colon cancer or other, you know, colorectal cancer. And it's an, it's an we're having an explosion of this right now among young people. And, you know, they're, they're, the science is still inconclusive, but it looks like it has to do with microplastics. The second way that they kill or they cause cancer is the chemical load that they carry, you know, particularly the plasticizers and some of the forever chemicals used in their manufacture. Because Europe uses the precautionary principle they don't let these chemicals into their environment until they're proven safe. We use libertarianism. We allow the chemicals in, and then when people start dropping dead, then we try to ban them, and then industry steps in with lawsuits and lobbying and tries to keep them in the environment as long as they possibly can. This is what they did with asbestos. It's what they did with tobacco. It's what they're doing now with microplastics. Uh, a new study that was just published in Environmental Health Perspectives found over 900 chemicals, most associated with plastics, currently in the U.S. food supply with the potential to cause breast cancer. 278 of them directly cause breast tumors in animals. 642 disrupt or imitate sex hormones and thus are implicated in these hormone-related cancers. So what do we do about this? Well, Nancy Pelosi and the House Democrats back in 2021 passed a bill that would have subjected these cancer-causing, often toxic chemicals to regulatory oversight. It died in the Senate in the face of a Republican filibuster. Last March, the EPA determined there is basically no safe level of exposure for these forever family of chemicals, no matter how small. Republicans blocked any effort to regulate the substances. And red state after red state have passed, 12 states now have passed laws banning towns and counties from banning plastic bags. 
In other words, you will have plastic whether you want it or not, because we, the fossil fuel industry, who may, you know, fossil, which is what plastic is made out of, and we, the plastics industry, own politicians, thanks to Clarence Thomas and his Republican buddies on the Supreme Court and Citizens United. And that's where we're at. We've got these, these microplastics and these chemicals in our food supply, and they are killing us. In fact, the last estimate is that they are costing America a, half a, or a quarter of a trillion dollars a year in uh, lost productivity and health expenses, just from microplastics. It's breathtaking. But the Republicans are united in their opposition to doing anything about it.